Hi, it's me again with Corel Draws Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this uh, clip art. I don't even know what to call it. It's uh, like interlocking rings kind of in a way. And if you look at it, it's a, it's a clip art. It took me a little while to figure out what to do. Sorry about that. And the best way I can come up with would be to take a circle. I'm going to move this out of the way because I like working in the center of the page. And I'm going to hit P, put it in the center of the page. Then I'm going to take a square. Doesn't even have to be a perfect square, but I'm going to go ahead and hold down the control button. And I'm going to rotate that square 45 degrees, and I'm going to hit P, put it in the center of the page. I'm going to make it quite a bit smaller. I'm going to hit P. And I need these corners to fit into there, so I'm going to lower this a little bit, kind of give me a teardrop. But now I need to make it quite a bit narrow, but if I take my... Uh, pick tool and I move this there and then I move the when I get the arrow and I move the arrow there the only thing you want to be perfect is to make sure it's in the center of the page so we'll hit P again and then while moving it down hold down the control button and you can see we're not quite perfectly in the center it needs to be in the center so what we could do now is take our pick tool and just move this side out a little bit and then you can always hit the plus key on the keyboard and mirror it and we're on top of each other so we're good. I'm going to take the virtual segment delete key and I'm going to delete these lines. I'm going to take the smart fill tool and fill it in. I'm going to delete my original and I'm going to take this, hit P, put it in the center of the page. I'm going to left click, right click and if we take the shape tool we'll see these nodes and I can delete them kind of get more like a balloon effect. I like working in the same direction, so I'm gonna rotate this guy 90 degrees. But before let's do that, let's contour. So I would grab this contour and have it three steps and go, and then this way you can kind of see how small you want the first step. And then it made the three steps. I would go ahead and break contour apart, but go ahead and control D, D, uh, G and group it and then we can rotate it that 90 degrees. Control D and make a duplicate of it and then mirror it. And then we need to take that point and put it right there at that point. So there you have, I don't know what he's gonna do with it. I'm gonna play around with it and make a second video and uh, see if I can't make it look like it's kind of like interlocking. And you can play around with it. I've got some pretty sharp turns on this you could actually contour to the outside uh, when you get your first shape and then reduce the whole thing. And I think you would eliminate that sharp turn right there. I hope that helped a little bit.